everyone. Welcome back to Faith in Flower. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm so excited to have you and I hope you're having an amazing start to your week. In today's video, we are going to be spending time in the kitchen. I'm going to show you what we've accomplished as far as our renovations go. I'm happy to say that everything is complete except for window treatments. I'm also going to be doing some cleaning, some decorating and cooking. So if you need some homemaking motivation and inspiration, then this video is for you. The last thing to complete in our kitchen was getting the shiplap installed and doing the painting. I plan to do a separate video where I take you through the renovation from demo day until the full reveal. And so that'll happen once the window treatments are installed. So if you like videos like that and you'd like to see it, let me know down in the comment section. In addition to the shiplap, we also had the trim redone around the windows in the kitchen. And we had them done to match what we have in our butler's pantry and in my office area. So if you've seen those videos, this is going to look a lot like that. In fact, we decided to even stick with the same paint color because we liked it so much. And that paint color probably reads pretty much white to you, but it's actually a very, very subtle aqua blue color. The color is called Frothy Surf by Bear Paint, and you can find that at Home Depot, but I will put a link down in the description box if you're interested. At this point, we've painted just about every room in our home, so I'm glad that after this project, we'll be able to hang up our paintbrushes for a while. exciting news from this past week is that we finally reached 100,000 subscribers here at Faith and Flower. I put out a little short to thank you all, but if you missed that, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate you subscribing to the channel here and for all of your kind comments and support over these past four and a half years. It has meant more to me than I can say. We had a wonderful celebratory dinner out and Patrick even brought me this beautiful bouquet of flowers. we installed this beautiful wood floating shelf, it was time to start cleaning the kitchen and get ready for decorating.
For the most part, I like to keep it simple in the kitchen and keep the countertops pretty clear of extra items. And I don't do a lot of home decor, as you probably know if you've been with me for any length of time. But I thought it would be fun to decorate the kitchen a little bit with some items that we already have. It's fun to get out things that you own and display them once in a while so that you can really appreciate them. This tray was made by my mother-in-law and given to us on one of our first anniversary so it's really special and really beautiful and I've enjoyed having it out this past week. Underneath the shelf I thought would be a great place to display this cutting board that Peyton made along with another one that my mother-in-law also made for us and then to add in some functional items that also look really nice on display. There's a well-known quote by Coco Chanel where she was referring to jewelry and accessories. She said, before you leave the house, look in the mirror and take one thing off. When I looked at this shelf, I felt like it was a little bit crowded and Patrick agreed. So I removed one thing and it was the smaller plant and I felt like that made all the difference. small thing needed to happen before the kitchen was complete this week. The people who installed our tiles had to make a couple of corrections with the grout behind the stove. So while the oven was pulled out, I thought I would take the opportunity to clean underneath once more really well. So I got out the vacuum and my microfiber mop and gave everything a good cleaning. And then Patrick and I pushed it back into place. And hopefully that's the last time we'll have to do that for quite a while. Cooking in the kitchen is even more fun now that everything's finally done. So of course I want to share one of the recipes that we had this week. Zucchini is usually more than abundant at this time of year. If you grow zucchini in your home garden, you'll know exactly what I mean. And most of the farmers markets and even regular supermarkets have loads of them at a really good price. So I thought it would be really fun to make zucchini boats this week. 
They're basically just like stuffed bell peppers, only you use the zucchini as the vessel. And so I cut the zucchinis in half lengthwise and then hollowed them out a bit, mostly just removing the seeds with a spoon. For the stuffing, I used a pound of ground beef, and then I just added some things that I would normally put in my meatloaf, and I just kind of went with it. <laughs> I didn't have a recipe, but I know all of the flavors that work well together, so I kind of just tossed them all in. So I had some chopped onion, some freeze-dried basil, and if you have fresh chopped basil, it would be perfect in this. I added some garlic powder, and again, you could use fresh. I just use things that I already had on hand. I added salt and pepper, some mozzarella cheese, and then I added in about a quarter of a cup of ketchup. I will write out the recipe for you and you can find that down in the description box where you can copy and paste if you would like to try this at home. But I really don't think you could go wrong. You could add any number of things to the sort of meatloaf mixture and then stuff the zucchini boats with that and bake it about the same amount of time and I know that your family is going to love it. This was a huge hit at our house and I know I'm going to be making this again very soon. I wanted to use up all of the meat mixture, so I really overstuffed the zucchini and they turned out great. So don't be afraid to really overstuff them and pile them high. They're going to be amazing. And because everything's better with cheese, I topped it all off with some more mozzarella cheese. You could certainly add any of your favorite cheeses on top. I think you totally couldn't go wrong in this area. Because I was going with sort of Italian spices, I thought that the mozzarella would work well, and it did. I bake them at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes uncovered, and I served it with a very simple spinach salad, and my family practically inhaled them. So if you were looking for some more ways to use zucchini, this one is definitely worth a try. 
Let me know if you give this recipe a try. I love hearing from you about that. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't leave without giving me a thumbs up. I also want to invite you to subscribe. We would love to have you here at Faith and Flower. We have an amazing group of subscribers and you can meet them down in the comment section. Subscribing is absolutely free and easy. All you have to do is click on my picture. I look forward to talking with you in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful week.